Hey to Zed, Domain to Genus here, and welcome to Eleven Enlightenments. On this week's episode, Kakapos. Kakapo are the world's only flightless parrot. Native to New Zealand, it has notably short wings for its body size, and instead uses them to parachute to the ground from treetops. The way the kakapo reaches the canopy is much harder, however. Using its beak as a third grip, it climbs up the tree with its strong, stocky legs in order to reach the fruit it eats. Their favourite food is apparently the fruit of the rimu tree, which produces fleshy cones every few years. Kakapos have also been known to drop certain seeds and berries into secluded ponds as storage. It's thought that this helps preserve the fruit. The bearing of fruit by the Rimu tree is thought to have a direct link with the Kakapo breeding cycle. Because the trees only do so every few years, the Kakapo prefer to breed at the same time, due to the surplus of food. This of course makes conservation quite difficult. Kakapos are not only the only flightless parrot, but also the only flightless bird to breed using leks. A lek is like an arena where males compete for mates. Over the course of four or so months, males will create and clean earthen bowls in which they sit, from which they produce each night a series of loud booms to call for mates. This method of mating is not particularly great for the males who, for lack of a better phrase, are sitting ducks, shouting into the night for love. Over the breeding season, they do not tend to forage for food, starving themselves to increase breeding possibilities, and the constant booms attract predators. What you might think is that the kakapo would learn to stop calling for mates, or to not remain in their bowl all night. But the problem is that kakapo evolved to avoid day-dwelling predators, and then we introduced cats and weasels which prefer to hunt in the dark. This is when the night parrot's green feathers and tendency to freeze have no effect since the mammals hunt by scent and sound, not by sight. The decline in kakapo was noticed in the late 19th century, however, and though not initially successful, conservation efforts have helped to stabilise the population. The only problem now is more males than females are being born due to the abundance of food on the islands on which the kakapo are conserved. An easy way to tell which gender a kakapo is, is to look at it. The night parrot is sexually dimorphic in size. Males tend to be larger, whereas females have longer tails and slightly pink legs compared to the male's grey-blue. Females are reportedly more aggressive too having a distaste for being handled. Despite being the heaviest known parrot, Kakapo are not well equipped to defend themselves. Whilst the young may play fight and mating birds might even kill a rival in confrontation, the Kakapo maintains a play-dead response to predators. This again arises from the native avian predators not being able to spot a still green bird on the forest floor. The kakapo does, however, move via a jogging motion that would definitely outrun, but not outpace, the typical ambush tactics of felines. Kakapos are, however, very inquisitive creatures. Their numbers are so few that most have been given names and have recognisable personalities. This curiosity is benefited by the whiskers that lie around their beak, and a well-developed sense of smell that allows them to distinguish between different odours. An ability that has only been reported in one other species of parrot. And with that, this has been Eleven Enlightenments. See you next time.